Well, hello again, my friends. Dave McDonald here for another edition of Quarantunes. <laughs> Coming to you live, well, not live, I taped it, here on YouTube, from the studios of Corny Creek Farms. That's right, where we grow corny humor. <laughs> if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I like corny humor, bad puns, all that kind of stuff. And I did want to share, let's get started here today. I wanted to share yesterday's drawing that I colored. You know I've been having fun coloring my drawings, so here's our farmer yesterday, Farmer Merle. Uh, and for some reason I added him thinking, moo! <laughs> How many different ways can you say moo? <laughs> Apparently there's three, right, Mr. Dave? Okay, so there he is on his farm from Pennsylvania. Ah! See the silo? Oh my gosh. Having too much fun here. Hey, today we're going to have a lot of fun as well. I have to say a big hello to my friends in Minnesota. Yes. All right, Miss Hans Artists at Hassan Elementary. Wow, I hope you're doing well today. All the way out there in Minnesota. Land of 10,000 blank. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Ten it's kind of the one of the mottos or the it's a phrase you should land of 10,000. I, I, I think I know. Do you know what it is? If you live in Minnesota, I'll bet you do know. I, I don't live in Minnesota. I'm going to say land of 10,000 snakes. I've heard it before and I think that's what the word is. Land of 10,000 snakes. snakes. No, that, that doesn't seem right. Miss Han, can you help out? Or can some of your students help me here? <laughs> Snakes isn't right. Land of ten oh, I know what it is. Land of 10,000 rakes. That's right. You get a lot of trees there. In the fall, you have to rake all the leaves. So you need a lot of rakes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dave, that's not right either. Hmm. Well, Mr. Oh, my word. What's going on here? Rake, snake, tenth. Tell you what, Miss Hans Artists, if you could, on the count of three, because I know you know the answer, just go ahead and shout it out. And I think through the internet and through the airwaves, somehow I'm going to hear you. Tell me what this word is. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Hassan Elementary. One, two, three. Whoa, <laughs> that was really loud. Lakes. That's what it is. Land of 10,000 lakes. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's even put it in ink. That's how sure I am. So welcome aboard with me here today, here in Corny Creek Farms, my friends in Minnesota. And what I thought we'd do today since we're talking about different states, is now in South Carolina, every state has their own symbols, like they have their own. This is a poster that I made up years ago. And the, every, tree ha, every state has their own tree, their own uh, reptile, their own beverage. So in South Carolina, we have our fish is the striped bass. And let's see, our our reptile is the loggerhead turtle. And I think much like Minnesota, our state beverage is milk. I think Minnesota has milk too. So every state has these. And I thought, well, for a drawing today, why don't we kind of explore one of those characters, one of us, a mammal or a, a fish, or we could do a fish or let's see the state bird. Oh, I looked this up. The state bird. This is a fun one. It's a loon. <laughs> a loon. I like the name loon. It makes me think that the bird might be a little loony. <laughs> I don't know if they are, but I like the name. It's an aquatic bird, kind of like a duck. Or here in South Carolina, we do have cormorants. Cormorants, and I think from what I read, the loon is kind of a distant relative to the cormorant, so I kind of know what they look like in real life, but we're going to make a cartoon version, so go ahead, grab your pencil, and let's get some simple shapes going, so we'll draw our loon. All right, let's see, for his head, 
I am going to start with a four-sided figure. Let's see here. How about, it's not quite a square, but it looks like a square that's been stretched. <laughs> it's a four-sided figure. We're going to use that kind of for our, our head. A little cross hatching here kind of helps us place the eyeball. So put an eyeball here. You know, I like to use my, my oval shapes. And then for the other eye, I'm not going to use the same oval. He's loony. I'm going to make him kind of goofy looking. So his other eye, I'm going to make smaller, like a circle almost. All right. And we'll put some wacky pupils in there at different places. So he does look kind of silly when we, when we see him done. Okay. His beak. Go ahead right here at the cross where these two cross and draw a curved line goes out like this all right and then from the end of that come under with another curved line all right and then from there curved line another curved line lots of curved lines and then just kind of connect those and that becomes his beak all right Let's see, um, let's bring his head back like this, give him some, let's see, he's got messy hair, he just woke up, he's loony, <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on, see how I keep noodling with these lines, I can't let them go, why don't I just let them go until it's time to do the inking, all right? Let's let him go. Maybe that's a little cheek right there. Okay, from underside of the beak, do this little curved line that comes down to his neck, and also from the back of his head, his neck. Now his body, his body will be shaped. Let's give us, just to start with, an oval or oval right here, all right? Bring this out just for the front of the body. Follow that oval. Now the back, he's not going to have a hunched back like that. We're going to kind of come straight back like this and then up to the little tail. Okay, see how we did that? We started with an oval. We just kind of zeroed in on a shape that we like. All right, so... Let's say he's got two legs, obviously, standing on his legs today. And he's going to be, he's a web-footed character. So I'm going to just put triangles here, basically, to start with. Triangles. But they are webbed toes. So why don't we do this? A couple curved lines. Just like that. All right. Boy, I'm messy with my pencil today, aren't I? <laughs> His wing, just do this. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Just a wing right there like that. And later on we can add some, some feathery looking things. Okay, now he's standing. Standing on the grass, all right? But what if the grass went like that? And underneath the grass, there was water out in the background. A little, maybe it's a, a pond back there. They do like, they're aquatic birds, so they're around ponds and lakes all the time, right? And maybe in the, maybe in the water, another, here we go, another state symbol. The state fish is what? Go ahead and tell me. Hassan Elementary, what is it? You know what it is. It's the walleye. It's a fish that has eyes that are almost as wacky as this character. Walleye, because they kind of, they're looking... It's like they're not focused in the front, they're focused on the side so they can, I guess though, so they can see their prey. But we'll make a 
silly walleye here. Okay, so we started with an oval. He's going to be in the water, so maybe we just create a little wave there where he's coming out of the water. Okay, this will be his head. We'll give him two big eyeballs, really big. One there, one on the other side. And since he's wall-eyed, we're going to put his pupils on the outside <laughs> like that. That's funny, isn't it? Fin. Curved line along the back, and that's kind of spiky, so curved lines, once again, right? Spiky. And we'll give him, let's see, a fin. Let's put him holding a little tiny hockey stick. <laughs> I think that's the state sport of Minnesota, isn't it? So you've got your walleye with his hockey stick here. I'm getting really, I'm getting out of hand today. This is getting too silly. All right, so now we can, let's start inking. <clears throat> I've had too much fun penciling. I could just keep going all day here, adding little details and characters, but it's fun. State symbols, draw them, right? That's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna start with the eyeball here and the cheek and his hair. And his other wacky shaped eyeball. Two little pupils. I'm making them so small that I can't even fit those little reflections, right? You know, because a lot of times I put those reflections in. The little white spot. I didn't do that today. Instead of making it perfectly curved, his beak, I kind of gave it a little bend there. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it makes him look loonier. Right? All right, I'm going to turn the paper just so I can get my... His hair. I say hair feathers but it's like he woke up out of bed <laughs> right <laughs> this is fun okay down in front of his body up to his tail let's see down his back And we'll do his wing, curved line. Like that. And then maybe some ruffles, feathers. All right. The loon. Triangle. Curved line for webbed feet. Maybe a little shadow under there. Hassan Elementary, you having fun? Career day. Would you like to be doing this as a living? Well, you can. There's nothing stopping you. Everybody has artistic talent. We all have different degrees of... Um, well, we all have different styles. That's what I like to say. The more we practice, the better our lines will become. But we're all born with our very own style. You already have that. And no one can take that away from you. And the art world is always looking for new styles. Because it would be boring if we all drew exactly alike. I mean, if we all drew exactly alike, what would the point of drawing be, right? If we already knew it was going to look exactly like someone else's so when you look at your artwork what i want you to do is be proud of that artwork okay because again no one else has your unique style 
and we love to see new styles in art. Again, it would be, it would be boring. We don't want to just see the same old thing all the time. All right. Okay, so there's our now our walleye pupils. They're large enough that we can leave a little reflection in the corner. Now, fish. Do they have eyebrows that are jumping off the top of their eyes? No. But in comics, can we do that? Sure we can. It's fun. Big, thick eyebrows over the top. <laughs> And these walleye, if, I think I went fishing for them once when I lived up north. And they had little, I don't know if they're teeth, but they're spiny and they're sharp like teeth. <laughs> and I remember you don't stick your, you don't lip them like you do a bass. <laughs> that wouldn't feel good. Okay, here we go. His arm is his arm. Listen to me. He's got a fin and he's holding his hockey stick. Official sport of Minnesota. Love to watch hockey. We've got the wild up there. Eric Stahl, right? He played for Carolina Hurricanes. His brother still does. Jordan stall. Okay, let's do our waves. And we'll do some grass coming off the bank here. grass back here and the horizon line which really I would if I had more time I might turn it into the edge of the lake or the pond this is still water out here all right look at how fun that is oh look at their eyes <laughs> they belong together right a walleye and a loon with their loony eyes let's give it that uh My uh, trademark cloud in the sky that I like to put in there. Yes, okay, I'm going to start erasing some of the basic shapes that we used. We had a four-sided figure here that we used to start his head, kind of like a stretched out square. And then we used a, an oval for his body shape. We can erase those pencil lines. triangles for his webbed feet and all these lines go away and you're left with nice clean ink lines if you've done your erasing correctly <laughs> and sometimes I get in a hurry but then you can always go back and do more erasing it's not a big deal right and sometimes when you erase you discover that you forgot to put ink over a line. And that happens to me quite often. In fact, let's see. I think I forgot to put, yeah, his body line right there. Goes in the water right there. And then maybe on his fin, I'll draw some. Some lines. Some motion lines around his hockey stick. He's waiting for the pond to freeze over so he can play hockey because it's not going so well in the water. <laughs> he says, I wonder who's the loon now, right? Who's the loon now? You're trying to play hockey in, in water that's not frozen. <laughs> I have too much fun. There it is, the Minnesota State Bird, the loon, and the state fish, the walleye. Well, Miss Han and your, and your friends, all your artists in the... Uh, Hassan Elementary, I hope you had a great time today. Uh, it was fun visiting Minnesota and learning a little bit about your state. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll continue to draw along with me. All right, have a great week with Career Week. 
And to the rest of you, everybody be safe, be well, and take care of one another. All righty, bye-bye.